Shot! Alright, we drove eight hours up north in Sweden. We're in beautiful Åre for the annual Åre Bike Festival. Uh, they asked me if I could cover up the whole uh, festival here, make some videos, participate in all the events, and it seems like there's a lot of fun events. I'm back on the bike finally. Yesterday was my first time rolling a little bit, trying out the bike park, doing some laps with the boys, and today we're on it with the camera again, so it feels good to be back behind the lens or in front of the lens and uh, filming for you guys again. Today is the first event. It's actually a race event and it's called Fox RDH. I'm not a racer at all, so I'm far out of my comfort zone, but it's gonna be fun to do some racing. Probably end up dead last, but if I'm on the upper half of the field, I'm happy. So we're gonna do that, bring you guys along, do a bunch of whip off contests, pump track clinics, dirt jams. We have a lot to do this week and you guys are in for a treat. It's gonna be an action packed video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Are right, we gonna do some test laps with the Insta360 and then it's race time. So we're jumping straight into a freaking race. It feels so not me, but why not? I think that if you want to hop here now, there's a pretty big chance that you either close the door or close the knees up to the knees up to the knees and close the door. Or? Yeah. So I thought the BNP was up there and then put the water and stuff. Oh, hell, I don't know. I don't know. When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go on, 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 girls 10 to 14 years so i feel like that's like my speed i'm gonna start first in elite men and i'm probably gonna end up last <laughs> god damn it yeah, all right we, i'm gonna do one one like proper practice run and go as fast as i can should be all like it's the same track i've ridden for 15 years so i feel like i'm not a racer anyways i'm not i shouldn't put too much effort into it i'm gonna be last however i do anyway so Did a full race run, practice, uh, something like that. Uh, I, it's pretty safe to say that the fatigue is gonna be the thing that plays in the most. And it was literally the worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. I'd rather run a marathon than doing that. Not just kidding. But anyways, it was heavy as all hell. I'm just gonna have to suffer it through. If I'm top 50, I'll do a huge celebration. It's like 100 people good doing it. Yes, we only do have five riders before me before I drop in. I'm actually like, I got adrenaline. It's my second day back on the bike and I feel like I'm gonna do something stupid. But I think it's gonna be very, 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 very slippery since it's been like raining since we got up here. And it didn't rain in practice, so or practice <laughs> my lap <laughs> well, it turned out that the, the side they aren't bar spinnable they don't spin and stuff so yeah that's what i'm riding with now start number two five seconds five four three two and shot
That shit. Ah! Oh, that kind of been the most exhausting, terrifying, and hard thing I've ever done. Holy shit! But I'm in the lead. I'm in the fastest time of the day, but I'm first in elite men, so I should be first. I asked the little knucklehead I am, I forgot to do an outro yesterday. I feel like I've done videos for years and years and years, but I seem to just never really remember. But anyways, I ended up fourth in the down race somehow. I thought I was dead last, but I was sitting in a podium position all the way until the last guy dropped in, knocked me off the podium, and uh, yeah, I got fourth. That, that was fun. So, super sick to do some racing again. Today is my first time back on the hardtail. We are gonna have a bit of a session here. Four bikes there at the Velo Solution pump track. This is the World Championship qualifier track. So today is the day prior the World Championship qualifier. Lots of qualifying championships and tracks. But so we're gonna have a bit of a session with the kids. We're gonna do some racing. We're gonna try to go fast, do some raw clips for you guys. I like it. I know you guys like that. Do some jibs, have a good time. Probably teach some kids some tricks. I don't even know. The winner will go clean up for the final. They actually do have world championship qualifiers here uh, tomorrow. We'll see. I feel like I have some speed in my body. We'll see. If I feel like I have some po power in my body yet tomorrow, I'm probably going to run it up. See if I can get close to the fast guys. I don't know if I am fast anymore. I used to be fast. Well, I guess I'll be on my way now. So we had one of the kids just did his first ever one. Hey! Now we have a backflip behind of us. <laughs> we made a deal, if he lands his first bar spin, I'm gonna double truck out of this berm and I feel like that's quite a dumb idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways to honor my word. So, here's the dub truck. Here comes the guy that just landed his first one. Ooh, on look! I'll try 180 whip. Looks like he's got could be the, the worst possible outrun for a fakie, but we made it happen. I feel like someone's been watching my tutorials. Alex, did you find that in my tutorial videos? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah. Cool. Which means it's pretty much a DNF. <laughs> So freaking fun to ride a pump track. The, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just wrapped up two hours of pump track riding with the kids. Did some uh, cool lines, tricks, jibs speed everything like some of the kids actually learned their first bar spins and that's just the most amazing thing ever to just see kids progress learn new stuff and it's sick to be a part of that and i feel like i can help out somewhat and uh, just cheer them on give them some knuckles help them out if they need but anyways good time now we're actually just gonna go home change bikes back to the big bike again and then we have a whip off event me and alex are gonna judge it and go get yourself some gets any merch that are available now as well you can just go buy them max very so for a shop I'm sure, sure. <laughs> Cut the whip offs? Yeah. Yeah.
it, landing sideways, crashing, doing tricks and all of that. It's, it's a good time, a lot of people out here watching. Fire machines, not much to say really. I thought I would be out there doing wits with them, but ended up in a, in a booth watching all the kids. But it's fun this as well, it's a good experience. Uh, it's the morning after, today is Saturday, which is the Pump Track World Championship Qualifier. Uh, I wasn't supposed to race really. I haven't raced a Pump Track event since the World Championships in uh, Switzerland a few years ago, so it'll be interesting, it'll be fun. I'm also not on slick, so this is going to be a major, major challenge for me. We got some super, super fast boys out in the field, we got some proper race BMXers that are just Pump Track riders as well. So that means that they're freaking fast and their legs are like this wide and I got my little chicken legs here so just gonna try to get some speed go fast and not be last <laughs> I've got bars qualifying starts in 30 minutes so should we just cut to qualifying and not even should we just roll through once or twice and then do qualifying yeah sounds good I also forced Marcus who's the filmer for this trip and Alex Alanko to also do the contest with me so all the boys from the trip are doing the event we'll see what happens what do you feel about getting tossed into a pump track race with that with but saying at breakfast like no 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 i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i don't know what happened I, I i don't feel good about it but yeah i guess we're gonna race and yeah I'm, I'm i will be the slowest one out there for sure like i'm scared of the berms i said i'm happy if i'm top 10 are you happy if you are if I'm not last. Oh really? Yeah. Then I'm then like it's a success. <laughs> it's faster than it thinks. But anyways, let's cut to qualifying. We're gonna film all of our runs and then we'll check back. Hey. Did our first uh, little run there. Absolutely messed up. Like I went way too fast into this corner right here. Had to pump the brakes, and then I just came out of rhythm for the for the like longest straight. So I lost a lot of time on that. I'm sitting in eighth, but I don't care about the position really. I just want to do a flawless run. So got one more to do that. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I managed to clean it up a little bit. I was 0.6 faster than my first run in the second run, so ended up seventh. But it's also sick that the live feed takes top 16. And Marcus, the cameraman, made it into the finals. So Marcus is going to be in the live feed as well. He's going to go up against number two in the field because he qualified 15th. Yeah. Yeah, so you have a heavy one to begin with. I'm actually getting going against someone that was slower than me, so it's a big issue for me. <laughs> Should we go do laps in the meantime when everyone else is doing practice? Okay, we're going to go do laps.
We did a couple of party laps, that was absolutely sick to just calm down, do some laps and have a good time with the boys. But now we're back at the venue. We do have the finals going on and there's actually a live feed. Seems like the brackets are quite heavy for me. I got meeting number 10 and then I'm meeting like number two or three or something. So I feel like it's gonna be a quick finals for me. I'm gonna pump as hard as I freaking can. But to be realistic, I'm just happy if I make it through the first bracket and then that I'm satisfied. Let's get on. So we're gonna get ready. Just because I haven't seen you on the track while. No, 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 I haven't. Warm up laps, so it's like. I'm just doing it for fun. We we did laps in the in the middle and stuff. So. You were at the World Cup. Yeah, because I won this two year two years ago. And you were extremely fast. Yeah, but then I did some practice for it. Now I'm like. <laughs> yeah, you too. In the red jersey, it's Arnos Pettersson. Martin Söderström. Men ja, uh, sen förstår jag att det är ganska kul så det är därför jag är idag. Quick little interview explaining that I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just here to have fun, put on a show. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm screwed. You lost quite heavily against you. Yeah. the opponent I'm gonna go up against now, so uh, we'll see. If I just feel like I'm way too far ahead, I might just chuck a couple of tail whips and stuff and do that instead, I don't know. We've got another race with one contender with small... <laughs> Come on here. We are Danny Mac. All right, after an action pack week with just downhill races, whip bobs, pump track races, clean legs, hanging out with kids. I think we're done. I think this is it for this video and the whole festival. I absolutely love Sweden. I love Ore and Ore Bike Festival for bringing this on for this great community we have. It's just as sick to see all the kids like progressing, having fun, smiling, just bringing biking to the next level. And that's what I love to see. That's what I love to be a part of. That's my main goal with this channel as well, to just grow the sport more in Sweden and in the world for that matter as well. But yeah, it was sick racing went exactly as we anticipated. I was up against number two in my second heat. I managed to knock one guy out, so I'm happy about that. Fun racing, it's not my thing, but maybe it can be one day if we actually put some training in, show up early and, but thank you guys a lot for all the love, support and everything. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. I know you guys hate when I ask for that, but that's what you're supposed to do. People are telling me to do that, so just deal with that and don't be angry at me. See you in the next one. This is Jan, Order Bike Festival. Bye. Yeah.